and today I'm going to compare the Juju Cup model 4 to the Super Jenny Smalls. Um, I have two Super Jennies here just because um, I've noticed personally that I have you know a blue and the original clear and I use the blue a lot more often and I think it may be a little bit softer now. Um, so I can't say for sure if the blue is just generally softer than the clear or if it's because mine has been boiled more often. Um, so I'm including it here just in case that matters, in, you know, in case we're going to pick a certain color. Um, I think overall the result will be the same when I compare the Super Giant to the Juju Cup, but I wanted to just add it for clarification. Um, so I'm just going to use the blue for most of the demo until I get to the furnaces, because the construction is the same. Um, so I'm going to show you just the height first. Obviously this Super Giant is small is a good bit longer. I will include exact dimensions in the description box. So that's about, you know, not including the stems, I don't know, 5, 10 millimeters, not 10. I think it's like 7. That's the difference, yeah. Um, the stems are kind of similar in the sense that they're both um, kind of short, blunt stems with a kind of round ball at the end. I haven't had to trim either stem. Um, they both have patterned grip rings, obviously not the same exact grip rings. Juju Cup has these butterflies. And I would say they're definitely more pronounced um, than the star pattern on the Super Jenny. As you can see, the Super Jenny has um, the Super Jenny logo is embossed on the outside. It has measurements in it. Um, it has ounces on one side, and then milliliters on the other. It also has made in the USA on the outside. The measurement lines are embossed on the inside of the cup. It has four suction release holes. These are nice big suction release holes that are easy to clean. Um, equally spaced around the cup. The Juju Cup doesn't have any measurement lines, but it does have Juju Cup, Juju, sorry, embossed on the inside of the rim. It has four equally spaced suction release holes that are a good size, yet you can see straight through them, so they're pretty easy um, to clean. Um, it has a letter B embossed here. I think this is to distinguish between the original line that had just two sizes and the new line that has, you know, model one, two, three, and four. And then it also has a number four here, again, to distinguish from the other sizes in this range. Um, I noticed this after I tried my cup. There's, also, there's a little bump here, which, I mean, it's just the base of the stem, um, but it's not going to bother you in any way, but there is a bump on the inside of the cup. Okay, um, the Super Jenny is, a, you know, I would say a soft cup overall. It does have um, kind of an invisible secondary rim here, so like the area immediately under the rim, you can't see it, but it is a little bit firmer than the rest of the cup, so this area here is quite soft, and then this is a little bit firmer. Uh, the rim overall, I would say, is pretty soft. Uh, with the um, Juju cup, the rim, as you can see, is pretty pronounced, um, but actually the way the cup is designed, the base here that has the grip rings, the grips is the firmest area of the cup, so you can see actually a line between the body and the, the base here. So this is the firmest area right down here. Um, this is kind of medium soft area, and then this is, I, I think, a little bit softer. Maybe just about the same. I think softer. So the base is the firmest area of the cup. As was the Super Jenny, where the secondary rim is the firmest area of the cup. Um, so I'm going to compare the firmness of the blue cup to the Juju cup first, and then I'll do the clear one. Um, the blue super giant that is okay. So I'm gonna do the bodies first. Um, actually, so of course because the cups are not actually the same length, I'm gonna bring it down a bit so that the bodies line up. Uh, okay. So yeah, the juju is firmer. I'm gonna compare the rims. And uh, the rims maybe. Are about the same, ignoring what the bodies are doing. The rims seem to be closing up at about the same rate. Um, the diameter of the Super Jenny, I think, is 43 millimeters, and the diameter of the um, Juju is 48, so it's quite a bit wider. And also, I think, you know, in terms of the firmness and whatnot, um, this cup is going to, at least for me, it sits higher up than the Super Jenny because it is shorter. So it kind of, you know, goes up under my cervix and then there's a lot more space under it, so I'm not sure, like, you know, comparing the firmness of the body, the experience will be a little bit different just because the cup is in a different place in your vagina, so, you know, just something to think about. 
Uh, so I'm going to just compare it quickly to the, um, the clear one just so you see if there's any difference in the firmness. So I'm going to do the bodies first. I'm just going to bring this down thereabouts to line up the body. So the Super Jenny, sorry, the Juju is still firmer than the, this clear Super Jenny. Okay. And then compare the rims. I would still say the rims are about the same. Maybe even the Juju rim is a tiny bit softer. Just what I would say a negligible amount. I'm just going to compare these Super Jennies to each other just to see if that makes a difference. And do the bodies first. So it looks like the clear one is a little bit firmer, which is what I expected. And comparing the rims. And the clear one is a little bit firmer as well. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, that is the Super Jenny Small compared to the Juju Cup Model 4. Thanks for watching. Bye.